From our Center for the Arts studio on the Ashland University campus, I'm Elizabeth Buhite. And I'm Logan Gay, and this is your AU Eagle News Update. If you smell the food or heard the noise from the tractor pull, then you know the Ashland County Fair opened this week. TB20's Rebecca Ribley has the story. With delicious sweets, lemonade, and activities, county fairs always have a lot to offer. It's not all about the food and rides here at the Ashland County Fair. Ashland likes to focus on other aspects as well, the animals being one of them. 4-H members like Molly Moffitt continue to come back each year to show their animals. I've been showing about four years. It's been a long four years, but fun. The time to enjoy with my animals, the time to bond with them. Students in the county that show animals get the week off of school to prepare for their events, and all other students get the Friday of Fair Week off to support family and friends. It's good to see your friends um, work all hard for their animals and see them actually win first place. It's just fun to see a lot of people that we know we don't see very often. The county looks forward to hosting the fair each year and giving the community a place to share their talents and enjoy each other's company. As the fair winds down for the year, people will begin working all over again to make next year's county fair just as successful as this year's. Reporting for AUTV20, I'm Rebecca Ribley. The nation marked the 12th anniversary of the terrorist attacks on 9-11 last week. On the AU campus, a touching tribute was created at the Student Center. 1,500 flags were placed in the grass in front of the Hawkins Conard Student Center on the corner of Claremont Avenue and King Road. The tribute was a surprise to students on campus. An anonymous group of students placed one flag for every two people who died during the attacks. The group asked not to be identified because they wanted the tribute to be bigger than themselves. In addition to the 9-11 tribute, the Ashland Center for Nonviolence also took the time to speak out about world events, holding a peaceful protest against war. TV20's Rebecca Ribley has the story. Violence added to violence does not equal anything but more violence. The Ashland Center for Nonviolence met outside of the Student Center to share their opinions on the possible action that could be taken in Syria. The group members were notified through email to meet at that location signs were provided. Members from this group joined together to share their message of finding another way. I'm really dismayed that our government is proposing to take military action in Syria. I just think it's not going to be effective. Peace needs to be worldwide and it's not just an idea. This group was part of many others meeting all around the country at the same time to hold a vigil against violence. This vigil got the attention from onlookers and many members were able to educate people that were passing by. The group hopes to not have to meet again in the near future, but if action in Syria is taken, they will gather once again to protest against war. But I'm very hopeful that those of us to, that turn out tonight all across the country are giving that message to our representatives and to the president too. Reporting for TV20, I'm Rebecca Ribley. After the loss of the Phi Mu chapter on the AU campus, a new sorority has joined the Ashland University Greek Life family this year. AU TV20's Logan Gay has the story. The new sorority, Theta Phi Alpha, has already started expanding in numbers after only a few months of becoming a new chapter on campus. We're really excited to be here colonizing, finding founding sisters to bring a lot of new innovative ideas to the Greek community. Um, we are all about philanthropy, sisterhood, leadership, and academics. This new sorority hopes that any girls on campus who are without a sorority home will find Theta Phi Alpha a sufficient fit and give them an opportunity to be a part of a special society. I think the reason why we might be a little bit different than everyone else is because we give the new experience of making the sorority our own and especially with the philanthropy not being a set thing we can change it up and do whatever our sisters feel they're passionate about so we give everyone their each individual experience. The Theta Phi Alpha sorority prides itself on academic and professional excellence as well as building lifelong friendships. Theta Phi Alpha thought that Ashland University would be a perfect place to start a new sisterhood and they are getting support from all of the other sororities on campus. 
The new sorority on campus, I'm super excited for Theta Phi Alpha. I think that they're going to do a great job and it's another way for women at Ashland to be able to be a part of something bigger than themselves. The Alphas are gearing up for formal recruitment and are confident that they have recruited girls that will be proud to be a part of a strong sisterhood that was built on tradition. Reporting for TV20, I'm Logan Gay. Members of Greek Life came together for a lot of laughs to kick off recruitment week and to help out a good cause. So I was able to get more people to see what um, Greek Life is about. Instead of seeing every single individual chapter, they got to see at least two different chapters and see that they're doing something for a good cause to pr promote Greek Life. Yo! Della Zeta and Kip Kappa Sigma teamed up Monday afternoon to host the 2013 Turtle Tuck. Anyone on campus could take a break from their schoolwork to come support the two chapters in raising money for their philanthropies in the Tug of War tournament. Eight teams met at the volleyball court to compete in the event. Greek Life members will now gear up for what they hope will be a successful recruitment week. Do you think that you could live on a dollar a day? AU students got a chance to find out at the first symposium event hosted by the College of Arts and Sciences. We really hope to inspire you know, our generation to make a difference because there's so many opportunities for us to get involved. Um, you know, it's really easy from even sharing these stories on Facebook and talking about them to taking classes and to learning more and then to actually going and starting your own initiative and doing something, you know, that can have an impact in the world. Zach and Grassi came on campus to tell students about his experience in a small Guatemalan village where he lived on $56 for 56 days. Students gathered in the Hugo Young Theater where Ingrassi showed video clips and spoke about the time in the village. The College of Arts and Sciences felt it was important for him to share what he learned with Ashland University students. He spoke of funny times that he and his group went through as well as financially difficult experiences. Zach and his partners plan on continuing to travel to different schools to share their documentary and answer any questions that students might have. Be sure to check out www.ashlandcollegian.com for more Ashland University news. Also, don't forget to check out the new WRDL 88.9 FM for all the latest music and AU sports coverage. That's it for this Eagle News update. Thanks for joining us. I'm Logan Gay. And I'm Elizabeth Buhite. Have a great day.